Sorry, I'm a really stupid move because of Christmas. I'm Christmas. I'm Christmased up. Christmased up? Is that even a thing? Guys, what's up? I've got to say, I've got a problem. And the problem is that the fire alarm is beeping like a, Like, I want to teach you. I've got this wicked lesson I want to teach you today. And I'm going to teach you it whether I can fix this fire alarm or not. I'm about to break for Christmas and I'm just here uh, watching the Michelle Camilo big band with Anthony Jackson. Just a phenomenal band. And there's something. Hey, check this out before we go any further. That's the Michelle Camilo big band. That was Anthony Jackson on bass. The album that it's from, Michelle Camilo One More Once big band, that changed my life. And there's a specific kind of run that Anthony Jackson does in that album that really changed everything for my technique and really kind of opened a lot of doors in terms of descending down the instrument, doing like long descending runs down the instrument really fast. Um, and that is what I wanted to show you today. I wanted to show you how to descend, fire alarm, I want to show you how to descend down, a, like a run down the base, really fast with a lot less movements than you might think. And no, it's not using pull-offs. But first, I need to sort this fire alarm out. I'll try and sort the fire alarm out. It's a real pain in the ass. And now I can't get into the damn thing. Uh, okay, on with the lesson. Lights on. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, I'm a really stupid move because of Christmas. I'm Christmas. I'm Christmas up. Christmas up, is that even a thing? So check this out. Like, as I was saying before, this specific technique, I first heard it um, when Anthony Jackson was using it and it blew, it, he was the first guy that I was like, oh wow. In fact, let me just show, show you a real specific example of what I'm talking about, right? Of Anthony Jackson doing this thing, these fast descending runs with the Michelle Camilo big band. Anthony, go. <laughs> So as you can see, it's like super, it's just like a really fast descending run. But when I first listened to that album, I just couldn't play that kind of thing. And that listening to Anthony do it was the first time I was like, okay, I need to get that down because I want to be able to do that specific thing. And I came up with a, a kind of hacky, hacky way of doing it, uh, my own way. I didn't... Uh, I just kind of figured it out on my own. So what I thought I'd do is save you guys the trouble of figuring it out on your own. And the the what we'll do now is just take a C major scale, right? So there's your C there, okay? But what we're gonna do is descend down the C major scale, but from the G, right? So we're gonna play. And this really got my whole descending game together. So hopefully it'll do you the same. I'll do the same for you, should I say. What we're doing here is just playing three notes per string descending, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The specific fingers are four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one. But on the E and the A string, it's a bit of a bigger stretch, okay? When it comes to this kind of run, this hand, when in fact, when it comes to ascending type of runs as well, getting this hand together is the secret, okay? The right hand or the plucking hand. If you haven't got this together, it's not never ever gonna sound right, okay? And what really did it for me is raking, okay? Now raking is when you don't play alternately on this hand, okay? I'm not playing index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, all the way down. I'm not doing this. Okay, if you wanna be able to do that, that's fine, but to get this, that kind of fast run, for me, it was really essential to use that raking technique. So this is what raking is, okay? What I'm gonna do is start on my index finger 
on the G string and I'm going to play index, middle, index. That's going to take me to the last note on that G string, okay? Index, middle, index. Then on the next string, index, middle, index. Next string, index, middle, index. Next string, index, middle, index. So you're playing the same pattern on this hand each and every string. Index, middle, index. Index, middle, index. Indle, index, index, middle, index. Index, middle, index. It sounds like this, okay? And that is a really fantastic way of practicing it, actually, without the notes. Put your entire hand over, so you're just deadening the notes, and go index, middle, index, index, middle, index, index, middle, index, index, middle, index. And when you're crossing the strings, index, middle, index, that last index on each string needs to rest on the next string it's going to, and then it's ready for the pluck. So Check it out, let me just bring you a bit closer. So, here we go. This is with a gap in between, then we're gonna... There, there was like a, I went da da da, da da da, da da da, da da But actually what we want is da 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 da. Practice that movement there. Don't expect to do it all in one go. Do it bit by bit. Get used to that movement. Then the next movement. Then the next movement. Then all the way down to the C. So hopefully this has given you a quick insight into how I got those descending lines together, guys. It was all about raking for me. It really, really helped my, my fingering. What I would say as well is it's very beneficial to learn to do it the other way as well. So we've been focusing on index, middle, index. Once you've nailed that, then turn it round. Middle, index, middle, middle, index, middle, middle, index, middle, middle, index, middle. Hopefully, guys, you're going to have a wicked Christmas with your families and your friends and your loved ones. Huge holiday greetings from us here at SBL. And, oh, and before I go, if you haven't checked out the SBL One Strap yet, this little sexy bad boy, um, I'll put a link below. We've got a handful left and we're closing orders tomorrow, okay? We're closing orders tomorrow, which is Saturday, the Saturday before Christmas. And so if you want one, go check them out. They're awesome. In fact, I'll put a trailer at the end of this video so you can check out what they're all about. Again, guys, happy Christmas to everybody, holidays or whatever you're celebrating over this time. As always, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.